Students often wonder, why am I learning this? How is this going to add value to my future? The landscape of work as we know it is constantly changing. AI tools and other industries are becoming all the more prevalent. So students are really curious, like what jobs are going to be out there? And to be honest with you, a lot of jobs that we talk about might be outdated and a lot of jobs don't even exist yet. I think design transfers into any industry. Design and designers are the ones who create the culture. Everywhere you look, you'll see something that couldn't have been made without past generations being taught about design. There's so many applications in the real world. Knowing how to go through the design process and how to solve problems is crucial. I've learned to collaborate and problem solve a lot more. A skill you also have to learn is to ask for help. A lot of design platforms, there's a massive on-ramp students have to take in order to become slightly fluent. And when finding Figma, I saw that wonderful balance of very robust, very advanced tools, but also a non-intimidating setting or layout that students could jump right into and get designing. When I started using Figma in the classroom, students were amazed by seeing all these cursors flying around. They were interested in what maybe someone else was doing over here on this side of the file or this side of the design. What I like best about Figma is it has a wide range of tools. But it was very like straightforward and simple. It took like maybe two days or so and then you got it down. My students at even the age of 12 years old can be using this design software that folks are using in industry and was maybe even designed or created for folks much older than them. Students are really hungry to be working with others, especially coming off of a pandemic. We see this problem all the time in classrooms where kids' engagement is incredibly down. Now we're competing with YouTube, we're competing with social media, we're competing with gaming, but the moment you give an assignment where they're having to collaborate with one another, share ideas, and really jump off of one another's thoughts, that's where I feel like the magic happens in the classroom. You can bounce ideas off each other really easily. I'm able to make something that's a lot better than what I would have been able to make on my own. With a lot of learning management systems, students send work into the teacher, the teacher sends it back, and eyes on their work is only between the student and the teacher. Figma has really allowed for students to see the interests of others, to get ideas from peers that otherwise could not have been made possible with just this teacher to student feedback loop that exists far too often in education. Students who maybe once saw themselves as just participants in a classroom, now becoming leaders in projects. And it's been really cool to see some of my even quieter students become celebrated because of the work they are doing that is seen and accessible by their peers in this class. I've really seen a sense of community and connection built around Figma with any type of user, no matter what the student has, no matter what maybe disability they're walking into the classroom with, it's a common place of acceptance because it's so focused on design and solving problems. It's a really safe space to be in because we always make it a safe space. Using Figma has brought me a lot closer to my friends. We just build bonds that are really strong. These students are in a really interesting place in their life. There's a lot of vulnerability, a lot of insecurity, and Figma is an amazing space and spot to help champion them and empower them to see the incredible humans that they are.